So today I'm going to be free modeling or free styling and yeah I'm just going to be creating an ancient art arch kind of thing but yeah let's get into the video. So uh, let's get into it. So what you want to do first is I want to show you a little trick so you go into this little drop down menu here viewport shading and then you want to click cavity click this one here and then you also want to click matte cap. So this basically just adds ambient inclusion to all of your objects in the scene and it just allows you to see the objects better and more clear. So you have your cube and what you want to do now is go into vertices select which is this one here. Then you want to select these four vertices and then press X and then press vertices and that will delete them. And now we just have one plain uh, face and then add a modifier, add a mirror modifier whatever it is here it is and then you just want to go into edit mode go into face select and then click on this face and then press g and then x to move it across like so and that just moves the other one because it's a mirror effect anyway um yeah you want to click on this face and you want to press e to extrude and yeah you just want to freestyle so you have your cube all you want to do is press right click and then subdivide and then subdivide again and yeah just you just want to freestyle it maybe select these vertices these vertices and just maybe select the bottom vertices maybe you could uh, create some more structure to the pillar i'm going to put a picture of a pillar up here that's what i'm trying to achieve i don't know how to describe it but i'm just creating more structure and volume to this select this whole line of faces and then you want to go and extrude along normals and just push it inwards and then press S as well. This will create a nice little shape. Look at that. That looks really nice. And then, yeah, just freestyle. Go with whatever floats your boat. I'm just making indents wherever, making it look detailed, even though it isn't uh, that complex. So, yeah. And then press S to scale like that. Wow, okay. That looks quite nice. And then maybe do the same here. Select these vertices and then press I. Then press. E, yeah, and then press S. Yeah, that works out. Yeah, now just go with the flow. Go with the, hold these bottom vertices and then press extrude along normal. Just gonna add like loads of different kind of layers and stuff. Maybe I could add more st stuff here. Yeah, just extrude random things like that. Oh my gosh, that's already looking really nice. Maybe do it on this side as well. Um, yeah, I don't know how to explain this. It's just extruding. But yeah, that's like how I create complex structures. This is how I create complex structures. It's really easy to create complex structures. You would think it's quite hard. It's not. And that's what I basically do for my renders. Oh, wow. Okay, so that looks really nice. That It's giving me like pyramid vibes. I don't know why. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, maybe... Mm, what else could I add? Maybe I could add something here. Extrude along normals. Maybe something along here. Oh, that's nice. And then maybe something here. Don't ever get shocked on how people create these kind of structures because it's pretty simple. Uh, you just need to have a good eye for extruding. <laughs> don't know if that made sense but yeah anyway yeah i'm just gonna extrude random parts and then i'll time lapse that okay now we've got a lot of detail to add because i've just extruded so much more but it's fine uh let's just add loads of detail here and just repeat what i've just done um, like this maybe do something like that and then maybe do something like this and then you could select the corners and maybe extrude the corners only add some more depth like that maybe you could do that maybe you could do something like this where you just extrude a certain part of the pillar uh, let's see if i can even do that then press i then press e to extrude out or just use this thing that i'm doing here this tool here, extrude along normals, and then yeah, wow, okay, so that bottom part is quite detailed, 
So now what else do I want to add? The bottom part looks very complex and then this part looks like simple and not nice. So I've got to add some depth here. So let's see, let's maybe add something like a window or like something here. Let's see what I can hit, add here. So maybe add a uh, extrusion there and then an S and then an E, I and then an E along normals that didn't make sense i just said a bunch of different words but yeah it's just created like a little indent then maybe select this part and this part and then press i then press extrude no the, yeah extrude along normals maybe outwards this time then press s yeah that's create like a nice little weird shape if you did want that okay yeah if, oh yeah from Doing that, you do get bad geometry, but yeah, um, yeah, I don't know what else I can add to this bottom layer. This needs to definitely be uh, more refined, so let's just extrude along normals here. Uh, yeah, that looks quite nice. I feel like this part here isn't very detailed, so let's select the corners like this, hold shift obviously, and then maybe extrude them, oh no, press I and then maybe extrude along normals and then maybe press I again and then extrude outwards ooh, wow that looks nice wow, look at that, that's a new kind of shape I've learned so how do you do that again, let's do that again so select these two inwards things yeah, see so you could just mess about and create rand most random stuff ever it's so fun uh, like it's very therapeutic i think that's the word but for me it is i don't know about you guys but this is very therapeutic for me uh, it's just really nice seeing your structures come alive anyway you can see i'm just freestyling i'm not there's no plan here i'm just extruding anything i see yeah that looks quite nice and maybe for the top i don't want to remodel it i just want to take this bottom half and put a place pop it on the top so i've got a trick for that uh this is going to be a little bit weird to explain so go into the side view go into x-ray mode and then go into vertice select i think and then just hold hold uh drag your mouse and just select the top vertices and then press Right click and then delete vertices and then I think that should have deleted the top half. Yeah, it's deleted the top half and then, ah, oh, this is going to be hard. I don't know how to get that bottom bit onto, mm, maybe if I just plop this. Ooh, this is a, ah, oh, I'm stuck. Shifty left click right click separate mesh separate selection and then maybe drag it up g and then z and then maybe the origin to geometry and then flip it around to 180 degrees then go out of x-ray mode and then that should have worked oh okay wow there's some weird geometry there but the good part is we won't see that because we'll be looking at it from this direction so that should be fine so if i can just duplicate that onto the other side oh yeah i guess that could work yeah i guess that could work uh, maybe not do what i'm doing because i'm a bit lazy instead of, i just don't want to model that part again and then maybe i could add another cube and then maybe i could just make it so it connects because it is an arch uh, maybe I could do that. So you want to make sure you're adding loads of detail to this part because this is the part we're going to see from the audience perspective. This part doesn't really need to be uh, detailed. But yeah. And yeah, I think I've done with that part. Maybe I could just duplicate this. Oh, if it lets, if my mouse works, yeah, okay. So maybe I could just duplicate this and create more of these 
like that or something like that so it looks more detailed does that look more detailed oh, 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 oh. oh yeah does that look more detailed yeah kind of but look what looks more detailed if i add that yeah that does look more detailed okay that's a little hack just duplicate around uh, your own object so it looks better yeah that looks quite nice but the only thing i would criticize about this pillar thing is i don't think that fits here it's fine it's fine it's fine let's get to rendering and modeling and not modeling rendering and texturing so shift a add in a plane i don't know how i'm gonna texture model this i haven't i haven't been on blender in a while i'll say that oh wow okay so folks we've got bad geometry here oh we've got bad geometry that is so annoying so maybe we can chop the top bits off and maybe oh that's an oh that's an l these were such nice pillars as well and that bad geometry had to re because i duplicated the bottom bit and duplicated it on top so as uh, yeah as i was saying i was freestyling this so i won't be perfect on what i'm doing actually i think we can live with the bad geometry if once i texture it i think it should be fine because okay, so i'm texturing it now and i'm seeing if maybe i can get rid of the bad geometry with some good lighting and texturing maybe it might go away maybe oh that's annoying or maybe i could just do this oh, is it gone duplicate this duplicate that oh, i guess that could work but then you need it you can't, then you're going to wonder why there's like random two bits there random pieces there or maybe i could just duplicate this add that there oh wow okay that works out that works out that works out so no more bad geometry i saved it now let's, let's just texture everything and then maybe for the lighting you have you can't go wrong on the lighting so maybe you could add some lighting backlight here 10,000 maybe maybe you make it like that and then maybe copy the lighting on the other side and then maybe maybe i could get rid of the background texture bold texture that might look better i don't think that does maybe it does that look better no i don't think that does Uh, I don't know if that does, but anyway, this is how you create a complex structure like this. Um, and yeah, I just freestyled this. I didn't follow any plan and it actually worked out very, very nicely. All I did, like maybe this part, I was a little bit lazy on. I didn't like, there's no like detail there. I was a little bit lazy, so I skimped out on that piece there. The rest of it looks, I would say, pretty realistic. Maybe mid-poly. Maybe mid-poly. But yeah, this could definitely fit into like a texture pack thing. Not a texture pack. Um, like a 3D scene, 3D world. And yeah, if you... Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to leave a uh, OBJ file of this model. The exact model with everything in. And yeah, you can download it for yourself. And yeah, that is the show for today. If you guys liked and enjoyed, subscribe. Peace out.